Challenge these brothers that uh, teach and believe uh, the RFID microchip is the mark of the beast, and I got no response, which I which I knew I wasn't gonna get any response because uh, that RFID microchip doctrine is not biblical, all right, and it's no precepts other than the precept that they private interpret in the Book of Revelations. Um, to uh, support that uh, RFID microchip uh, doctrine, man. Timothy 5 and 21 prove all things. Breaking down the mark of the beast, uh, showing you what it's referring to, what that mark actually is, going into root words, uh, many precepts, um, showing you that it's referring to money, man. That's the mark. That's karagma. referring to money man that's the mark that's karagma all right you ask these guys to prove it out the bible and the first thing they go to is a uh a, a edomite uh the uh the edomite uh articles man all right what esau is doing is not the word of the lord man all right you have to keep the word of the lord all right you can't get bored with teaching uh the word of the Lord till you get to the point where you add uh, the white man, the so-called white man words to the Lord word. That don't mix, man. I send these guys a message. Um, I challenge, I challenge these guys to break, to break the doctrine down, to break it down for the people out of the scriptures, precept upon precept. All right, nobody responded, man. Nobody responded because they can't do it, man. Taking down that mark, showing you what that word mean, the, the, the etymology, the root words, all right, uh, where that word come from, um, which is dealing with money, man, all right, the actual money you got in your pocket, that's the idolatrous image, all right, it, all right, it's printed, it's carved, it's engraved, all right, but these guys, uh, like I said, being subdued. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Raka, Hakwa, Dash, and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, Shalom to the elect, peace to the elect of the nation of Israel, the Israelites, okay? Anyway, I want to go in this video here with this guy, Teachers of Truth. Uh, what is this called? Um, show me the precept. RFID microchip, you know, if we showed him a precept, would he still believe, you know, probably not, we sure he wouldn't believe, we could show him a ton of precepts, and he wouldn't believe, okay, what more do you need to know, he, this guy doesn't believe in the missiles, he believes the earth is flat, I mean, to, you know, the scriptures, I believe Proverbs 29th chapter from not mistaken they say if a wise man contend with a foolish man there is no rest look at this guy he's uh he's mangled with demons okay you can clearly see it in his face you know he has a lot of issues anyway i looked at the comments great vid bro now i can't understand with the uh prophecies that's happening this microchip he claims is uh, it's TV land, it's articles, it's fake. But they're literally microchipping people. And I can't understand that something this sinister, that he would make an excuse for it not to be biblical. This is sick. This is a man that is of Satan. Shatan. Okay? You know, Jeremiah 5 and 28 says, They have surpassed the deeds of the wicked. This guy's worse than the wicked. See why why this man is constantly implanting our people or the world. This man is up here in defense of the chip. Because if you're not against it, you're with it. 
That's crazy. Now, when you go in the Old Testament, it doesn't mention outright the RFID microchip. No. Nor does the Bible say RFID microchip. Nor does it say America. But this end time prophecy is in, a, in league with the whole world. Putting the world at slavery, in slavery. Okay? This guy, let me read the comment. Let me read the comment. This brother, Yawa, uh, Yawa Nathan, okay, he said, he pulls out the scriptures, Matthew 13, 11, he answered and said unto them, because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but them it is not given. See, it says mysteries with an S of the kingdom of heaven. So it's really no need to throw 50 precepts in there to show what what actually is that's why it's called a mystery if everybody knew it was a microchip it wouldn't be a mystery okay if it said rfid chip if john the revelator said oh everybody will be implanted we're cutting their hand and they'll be implanted with these new rfid high tech technology okay he also put this same brother power will do nothing um, Yahweh will do nothing but reveal, reveal of his secret unto his servants, the prophet. Okay. Uh, another brother said, all I want to hear uh, is, are you getting the chip when they offer it to you? He said, F me and what I'm going to do, show me the priest. <laughs> this guy is sick, man. He might already have the chip. You know, who knows? Hey, they offer it. You can buy the chip online. Okay. Anyway, let's go further into the lesson. Ezekiel 3 and 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the words of her mouth and give them warning from me. From what? What's to come? This guy is not a prophet, number one. Because he's not warning the people of what's to come. You know? It's like a, a, a mass army could be entering into your neighborhood to kill and wipe you out. And he's supposed to be there as a watchman. And he's telling you, and, and we're saying, hey, they're coming to clean us out and kill us, man. Y'all better get out of there. And he's saying, no, it's not nothing serious. Don't worry about it. It'll be okay. This, th this is that guy. He doesn't, he doesn't warn you. He doesn't care. He, even he doesn't even believe America's Babylon. He doesn't believe it's going to be destroyed. This is a guy who is a homegrown slave. He does not want to leave. He loves it here. Okay, anyway, let's go to Revelation 13 and 16. And he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or forehead. Well, first, let's go back to this word precept. Let's go back and see what that says before we move further. Okay, this word precept, okay, in the Bible, precept upon precept, means a command, ordinance, oracle, also used in mocking mimicry mimicry of Isaiah's words and thus not true divine command okay so a form of mocking and mimicking okay and this is the old you know we we read the scriptures when we first came in precept upon precept line upon line really these scriptures these um when you go to Matthew Mark and you go through the whole Bible, you'll see these things uh, written over and over again because they were uh, letters from different prophets, which wrote pretty much similar to the same things. OK, so it was not hard for us to understand and put it together, you know. So really, it's a, a form of order as well. It's a precept upon precept. So let's go to Revelation 13, 16. And he calls them both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand on their foreheads. Now, it's interesting, as I've done before, I went into the uh, different translations. Okay. Um, let's go to the King James Version. And then mark of the right hand of foreheads. The Christian Standard Bible says the mark and a right hand of, of foreheads, okay? Um, most of these translations says, um, 
Let's go to International Standard Version. It says, the second beast forces all people, important and unimportant, rich and poor, free and slaves, to be marked on their right hands or their foreheads, to be marked. Okay? Um, these are the translations. Okay? Let's go to God's Words translation. This sometimes brings it home, this, this uh, translation. It says, the second beast forces all people, important and unimportant, people, rich and poor, free and bond, and slaves to be branded on their right hand or their forehead. So this guy says it's money. He says it's money. Money is the mark of the beast. Well, we all got the mark of the beast then, since it's money. First of all, this money will be done away with. In a, in a sense, it will be currency. You know, you'll have your currency on that chip. This so-called virus is the start of it, okay? Um, on the right hand or forehead. So that's just another translation. Which brings me back to the actual translation of Revelation 13 and 16. Um, that word mark, when you see the word mark in Ezekiel 9, a different mark. The word mark in um, uh, Romans 16 chapter, when he says mark them that cause division. Scopeo, that's a different mark. Just as you have a tie, um, when you run in a race, you have a tie. I always say this. You have a tie. Um, you have a necktie, you know, or you tie your shoe, right? This is the language we, we're, we're in, so you got to apply uh, the proper context, okay? Uh, just like when you lie, you lie on somebody, like this guy is lying in the scriptures, or you lie down, like you lie down. Spell the same different meanings we always say that spell the same different meanings so you got to apply it this is why you'll see mark which nate tries to go with iuic when it talks about <laughs> set a mark on our foreheads totally different mark you know it's a totally different mark and we see that in the english language you have all these words and they'll spell the same but they'll have different meanings i believe homeographs okay so let's go to um, uh, Karagma. It says, which would be Karax. Karagma, okay. Let me see. Let me spell it out again. Strong's G, 5480. Karagma. Karagma. Karagma, okay. That's how it's pronounced. You know, and this is why, you know, the, the, uh, the Bible in its translations, this is why you can't read it on the surface. You got to go into the layers, you know. Anyway, it says a stamp. So let's see if this is money. I'm talking about actual money that you see today. A stamp and imprinted mark. A mark stamped on the forehead of the right hand. So at least he's saying it's physical, I guess. I don't know. And any other word he can use, then uh, wouldn't it be easy just to say some form of money? I mean, the, the New Testament does bring out the word money. The love of money is the root of all evil. Don't trust in uncertain riches. I mean, there's any different words that could be used to describe money. Riches, mammon, okay? Of the mark stamped on the foreheads or, or the right hands as the badge of the followers of the Antichrist. The mark branded upon horses. This is what we just seen uh, in the uh, definition that we went to on the um, God's Word translation. Branded in their right hand or forehead, okay? This is what we just saw. <clears throat> okay, the um, you have the KJV, which is one of the best translations, and that's why we use that. You have translations before that as well, but this is the best translation because of Old English. But then you have people who translate it off the KJV, and in some cases, they get it right when they go into detail of what the breakdown actually is. In some cases, they're wrong. Okay? So, the, the Most High said, hey, hey Yahweh Shah said it's given to you to know the mysteries. Anyway, it says, things, uh, thing carved, sculptured, graven work. So, he thinks this is your $100 bill. <laughs> you know, people are hardly using that now. Or maybe he's saying it's a credit card. I don't know. But if that's the case, it would be no, you, it would be no real reason 
to make it su such a sinister thing where it's going to enslave people if you already have it you know if it's a future prophecy money been around been around okay this type of currency has been around okay so what would be the reason of it being such a big deal you know I don't know. This guy just, he just comes up and he makes it as he go along, you know? He just makes it as he go along. And this is why we gotta, we gotta always, you know, we feel sometimes I feel the need to do videos on guys like this to show you that um, this is what happens when you feel um, wronged by a group or somebody that you feel wronged about that now you have to change your whole way of thinking to make yourself seem right again and to make them seem wrong so now the earth is flat the missile's not in the bible america's not going to be destroyed babylon is in america i mean the mark of the beast not the chip you know it just gets worse and worse i have no idea what he's going to say next i don't think i want to give him any ideas you know maybe he's not an israelite <laughs> that's all i have on that shalom